closed for business. On Sunday morning, protesters blocked thousands of government workers from entering one of Cairo's most iconic administrative buildings. It's the latest escalation by those who've been camping out in Tahrir Square since Friday, demanding the military rulers speed up reforms they promised to implement. When Assam Sharaf became prime minister, he came to Tahrir Square to be sworn in, saying he derived his mandate from the people. But five months on, it is the people who have returned to Tahrir Square, saying he has failed to deliver the demands of the revolution. I don't have any confidence in this government at all. All these ministers don't have a purpose. I think that Sharaf's government is uh, useless because no matter what he tries to do, uh, it's not his word and it's not his decision. It's always the, the Supreme Council of Armed Forces. On Saturday, the Prime Minister addressed the nation, announcing a series of measures aimed at addressing the grievances of the protesters, including the firing of all officers accused of killing demonstrators. But it was the military silence and lack of tangible response to the people's demands which dominated the country's headlines. The people want the military council to speak to them, to address them, to say frankly, is the military council still committed to his promise not only to handle the power to civilians but also to meet the demands of the people? Despite many differences, one thing Egypt's political forces agree on is their frustration with the country's military rulers and they're making their demands very clear. We want the resignation of the current Minister of Interior and the appointment of a civilian minister who restructures the ministry transparently under judicial supervision. For months, the military has portrayed itself as a protector of the ideals of the revolution. But protesters who have returned to Tahrir Square once again say it's done no such thing and in fact see it as an obstacle to the revolution's progress. Ayman Mohideen Al-Jazeera, Cairo.